Get a band on that one. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope everybody had a great week. So I'm gonna jump right in and start talking and as people join, they can start to, um, they can they can catch up with us because I value everybody that's here already your time. So I hope everybody had a great week. Tonight, I'm gonna be talking to you about three ways to transform um, your mind in crisis. So right now we know that everybody's kind of anxious, people are worried, they're stressed, and that can really, really weigh you on the mind. So the biggest thing we can do is start with the mind and work on that. And when we get our minds to relax, then of course our bodies are gonna follow. So the, when the mind is relaxed, the body follows. And so tonight just wanted to give you three quick ways to transform your mind in crisis. So this is Mental Health Awareness Month, by the way. May is Mental Health Awareness Month as well as Stress Awareness Month. And so, you know, when you are stressed out and you're, your mentality is not right and you're worried and you're anxious, that predisposes you to um, now having, you know, a stroke or heart attacks because stress really, really uh, elevates your blood pressure. It puts your mind at in distress because you're not resting easy. So tonight, again, I'm talking about three ways to transform your mind in crisis. The world is in a state of crisis right now, um, the uncertainty that everyone has. So I'm gonna jump right in. Number one, the first way to transform your mind in crisis is to change your mental channel or your mental frequency. Change your mental channel or your mental frequency. Um, make sure that you are inputting positive vibrations. Make sure you're putting positive vibrations into your brain. You can do that by reading positive material, um, by putting music. I love megahertz. If you've never heard of megahertz, um, I have I used YouTube and I put megahertz on and it kind of relaxes and changes the frequency of my mindset. And then my body tends to relax after I relax my mind. So, you know, make sure that you're putting in positive thoughts because those positive thoughts are going to re replace negativity. So that's one way that we um, transform our mind in crisis. Again, number one is change your mental channel or your mental frequency by inputting positive vibrations, positive thoughts, positive information. Um, and that can be in the form of uh, reading positive materials listening to positive music or megahertz, which is going to relax your mind and then your body is going to follow and also replacing negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Number two, give your mind a break from the chaos. Give your mind a break from the chaos. How do we do that? We do that by quieting the mind with moments of stillness, which means that you know, we're not going to have anything in our hands. We're going to just be relaxed. We're going to have quiet. We're just going to sit there, not have any television, not have music, not have anything on. Just be in that moment and really, really just relax and kind of meditate. You know, take some deep breaths. Make sure that we are allowing our body to fully relax. Again, I'm, you're going to hear me keep saying it. When the mind relaxes, the body follows. So make sure that we're feeding our bodies and our minds positive vibration. So when we're giving our mind that break from the chaos, we're quieting that mind, we're quieting our mental state. We're taking that meditate, that time to meditate. We're being mindful, we're staying in that moment, we're having stillness, we're creating those mental spaces of peace and we're making sure that we're creating visions of the place that we want to be. Maybe it's out of the country. Maybe it's just in a relaxing environment. So we can do creative visualization. Think of positive colors that uplift your mood. Things like that. Um, have visions of peace, visions of, of places that you've enjoyed. But do some creative visualization, visualization to quiet the chaos. Take a break from the chaos in your mind. Turn off the television. Hey, Cheryl Wood, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. We're talking about three ways to transform your mind in chaos. Number one, again, for those that are just tuning in, is to change your mental channel or your mental frequency. You're doing that by inputting positive to replace the negative, by what you're reading, the music you're listening to, by the information you're taking in. So pop in something positive, something uplifting that's going to boost you, going to build your mood. Number two is to give your mind a break from the chaos. Quiet the noise around you. Quiet your mind with moments of stillness, meditation, 
um, creating that visual mental space in your mind that brings you joy and peace. And also, you can also visualize colors that bring you happiness, like red. Red is the color all about life, vitality, vibrancy, oranges, yellows. So think about colors, even if you just have colors around you or the colors that you wear. I'm always throwing on some red lipstick, right? You always see me with that. And then, then tonight I have on orange. I needed to change my my mental frequency. I needed to change my mental channel. I needed to take a break from the chaos, but we build the environment that we want for ourselves mentally. Thank you, Cheryl, for, for um, taking the notes and scribing for me. Hey, Don, how are you? Hey, Janelle, how are you? We had a good conversation last night. So just wanted to bring some of that information to the forefront about transforming your mind. Number three is brain dump. Empty those negative thoughts, brain dump, empty your brain. How are you going to do that? I have a really, really good exercise that I would love for you guys to try. I've tried it and I love it. It really does work. So you're going to take a sheet of paper. You're going to fold that paper in half and I can demonstrate that actually. I have paper right here. So we're going to take a piece of paper. This is just a regular piece of paper like from out of the computer. Okay. So you're going to fold that paper in half. And then... When you take that paper, you're going to tear it in half. So you have two sides of paper, okay? What you're going to do on one side of that paper is write down all your negative thoughts, your worries, your anxieties, things that's just causing you stress right now. And when you do it, number them. Number them and leave enough space. Why are we going to leave space? Because we want to be able to fold them. We want to be able to almost fan it. Some of us have more stresses than others, so you might need two pieces of paper or you need to make smaller strips. So basically, I've made enough with this one piece of paper for one, two, three, four, five different strips. So you have a fan here. What you're going to do is you're going to write something on each one of these fans that's causing you stress, negativity, um, worries, anxiety, that's just disturbing your peace right now. After you've written that down... Let's say if finances is one of your things that, that's causing you stress or anxiety because the world is uncertain right now. You're going to write finances on your paper. You're going to tear that off. So you're going to have five strips of paper. Hold on to that. You're going to take the next piece of paper. On this paper, you're going to write the things that are bringing you joy, happiness, um, those things that leave you feeling positive and feeling great, and those things that just plain old make you feel good, things that you're happy about, things that you're grateful for. Again, you're going to fan fold that paper. I'll do it in five again, just like I did the other one. So let's say you have five pieces of paper. On that first one, I'll write, what am I happy about? I'm, a ha I'm happy about being healthy. So now I have healthy on that paper. I'm going to tear that off. Okay. So then we're going to go back to the, so when you tear off your five strips, that you have for the things that is causing you stress, negativity, um, just making you feel worry, anxiety. You're going to tear those five things off and you're going to put them in a bowl, any kind of bowl. Don't, don't worry about it. Just any kind of bowl that you have. You're going to take these five strips. You're going to stick them in a bowl. And you're going to cover that bowl. So you're going to throw them in a bowl. You're going to cover that bowl with a towel, a shirt. I don't care which cover. Cover with a piece of tissue. This represents brain dumping emptying out the negative. So you're taking it from here, you're throwing it on the paper, on the papers, and then you're dumping it in a bowl. You're going to cover that bowl up and you're going to forget about it. You're going to leave it. That's where we're leaving it. We're brain dumping. But then we're going to replace those negative thoughts with positive. So we have healthy, whether, oh, hey, the mortgage is paid. Hey, the car and the insurance is paid. <laughs> hey, we got a stimulus check. <laughs> now with these positive thoughts that we have, we're going to place those in plain sight all over our house. So put it in your living room, in your bathroom. If you have sticky notes, that's even better. But you're going to have five of them and you're going to stick them. So whenever you're walking around in your home, you are reminding yourself that you've just replaced those negative thoughts with positivity. This is the way that you brain dump or you brain empty and you replace these negative thoughts that you've dumped out and put in that bowl and covered up with positive thoughts that now you're going to have in plain sight. So that's a, it's a visual reminder that we have things to be grateful for, things to be happy about. All right. So again, for those that are just tuning in, hey, Delana Watkins, how are you? Thank you. Great tips and excellent exercise. Thank you so much. So again, the three ways that you're going to transform 
your mind in crisis is number one, to change your mental channel. Just like you change your channel on your television, change your thought process, change your mental channel, change your frequency. How are we going to do that? We're going to shut that news off because, you know, that it's just constant negative and it can cause feelings of sadness, anxiety, stress. We don't want that. We want positive vibes, positive vibrations in our body. So we have to make sure that we are feeding those positive vibrations to ourselves by what we read. Are we listening to powerhouses like Dr. Cheryl Wood telling us to be all we can be? Are we listening to Delana Watkins telling us how to be sugarless? Are you listening to me telling you, look, diversify your skill set, get online and take some courses, be positive in this time of uncertainty and crisis. So number one, again, change your mental channel or your frequency. Input positive vibrations, thoughts, information, read positive. You can play music that has uh, megahertz. Megahertz has a positive vibration. Just go on YouTube. It's literally free. You go on YouTube. You type in megahertz. When you type in MHZ, you can find the frequency that you want that's going to shift or transform your mindset. You can, Whether you're anxious, whether you're feeling stressed, whether you just need to relax, they have a frequency for all of that. Remember that when your mind relaxes, your body is going to follow. Those thoughts, take those negative thoughts, replace them with positive thoughts. Number two, give your mind a break from the chaos. Quiet your mind with moments of stillness. Shut everything off. Turn off the cell phones. Turn off the TV. Turn off everything and just sit and be still. Don't move. Just breathe. Take in the fact that you're alive. Inhale in through your nose, exhaling out of your mouth. Just remembering, I'm alive, I'm healthy, I'm here another day to get a do-over tomorrow to fix whatever it was about yesterday that I did not like. Um, also, when you're doing that break from that chaos, what you're going to do is you're going to create the mental space that you want. What that means is think about the colors that bring you joy and life and vitality. Go into the room that brings you the most joy in your house. Make sure that you are doing creative visualization. Y'all know I love to go to Jamaica, right? That's my creative visualization spot. I think about, all oh, the nice place that I'm going to put my beach blanket. I think about my nice two-piece swimsuit I'm going to wear. I hear the breeze. I feel the breeze blowing on my skin. I think about the 75 degree, 80 degree weather and I'm walking along the beach and I think about Winston coming and bringing me my favorite drink and I'm in la la land. You see how that quick I took you to a place that's enjoyable, that's fun. Hey Daisy, how are you? Yes, the news can be overwhelming. You like cook therapy. Yes, cooking is very, very, very good to take your mind out of the chaos. It helps you to get creative. It helps you to boost your immune system by making sure you're ingesting things that are going to be healthy and nutritious and keep you nurtured. Last but not least, number three, brain dump. Empty those negative thoughts. We did an exercise. I'm going to repeat the exercise one more time. Take a sheet of paper, fold the paper in half, tear that paper in half. Then you're going to fold the paper again into five five sections on both sides. One side, you're going to write down all the things like finances, like, you know, the kids are stressing you out. Whatever is stressing you out, causing you worries, causing you anxiety, write those things down, one per sheet. Some of us have more things. If you got 20 things you need to write down that's stressing you out right now, go ahead and write those things down, then tear them in strips. You're going to take those strips of negativity. You're going to dump them in a bowl, and then you're going to cover that bowl up with a towel, a blanket, a sheet, uh, 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 even a shirt, whatever you got to cover it up, cover it up. It's indicative of brain dumping. You're taking it from here out of your mind where it's calling, causing you stress, worry, anxiety, it, and you're going to dump it and empty your brain, and you're going to dump it into that bowl or that box, whatever you have to dump it out of and cover it up. It's indicative of you brain dumping. Then on the other strips, you're going to be posting or, or writing things that bring you joy, that make you feel happy, that relieves your stress. Whether it be, hey, I'm healthy another day, or hey, I'm, I, vacations make me happy. Whatever it is that makes you happy, joyful, less stress, those are the things you're going to write down on those strips. But the difference in these strips is that we want these in visual sight. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these strips or these sticky notes, if you have them, you're going to stick them all around your house. Put them in every room that you know that you're going to enter that day. What does it do? It brain dumps, but it also replaces that negative energy, those negative vibrations with positive thoughts, positive vibrations. It reminds you 
of the things that you want happening in your life. It reminds you of the way that things used to be before the crisis and before the chaos started in life. So we want to make sure we maintain that gratefulness, that thankfulness for the things that we have, because things could be a whole, whole lot better, guys. I know right now it seems like things are grim, but it could be a whole lot better. One more thing, when the mind relaxes, the body will follow. It's a mind, body, spirit approach. Stay prayed up. Keep washing your hands. Follow the directions of your of your local uh, governments. Hey, Wanda, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. And just make sure that you are guarding your mind. Everything starts in the mind. So we have to protect our mind. We have to transform our thoughts in times of crisis. This is Mental Health Awareness Month and Stroke Prevention Month or Stroke Awareness Month. So everything starts in the mind. So that's why we're going to transform our thoughts and the body and the spirit is going to follow. Here's positive vibrations to everybody. I am Sheree M. Good, the recharge strategist. Don't forget to recharge your internal batteries and not just your gadgets. Good night.